California is just one step behind. As we told you last night, they right now are in emergency rationing to prevent blackouts. We need to conserve as much energy as possible, tweeted Gavin Newsom. He wants you to set the thermostat to 78 so you don't use the air conditioning. Avoid using large appliances is also on his list. So do you think it's 80 degrees inside the governor's mansion? Do you think his wife is hand washing laundry or scrubbing dishes in the dark so they don't use the dishwasher? Well, given the opportunity, do you think Gavin Newsom would fine people for using too much electricity? Things are bad in California. A heat wave is stressing the power system. 50,000 customers in the Bay Area don't have power. Another half a million might be in the dark tonight. What's worse is there's no plan to fix it. People are willing to endure a lot, but there's no plan to bring on a bunch of new hydroelectric power plants. There's not a plan to bring in a number of new nuclear power plants into California. But there is a plan for banning the sale of gas-powered cars over the next decade, never mind the power situation right now is so bad, people can't charge the electric cars they have. That qualifies as a major appliance. This is all just fine with Ethan Behrman, radio host in California, who's with us now. And the lights are on. If your shot drops out, we, we won't hold it against you, Ethan. Uh, <laughs> but, but shouldn't this really profoundly scare the rest of America that so many look to California as the green utopia? No, uh, this is actually a consequence of us driving our gas powered cars and coal burning power plants. Pres uh, President Biden uh, with the Inflation Reduction Act has nearly $400 billion going into clean energy investments to tackle the climate crisis, upgrade yeah, yeah, the grid. Ethan, Ethan, you the and I both know the, Ethan, you and I both know the truth about that. If it all works perfectly, it, it deals with the temperature by 0 0.009 degrees over, over the next 60 years. Okay, Eric Swalwell, uh, one of the congressmen from out there, Texas, where Republicans provide plenty of energy to control your body, but no energy to control your thermostat, talking about the uh, power issues in Texas back uh, a few months ago. He tweeted that uh, in July. Now it's time to rally California. We need all we can do uh, to avoid power outages this week before 4 p.m., pre-cool your home after 4 p.m., Avoid major appliances. Turn your thermostat to 78 or higher. Keep the lights on, California. Who wants to live in a state where you can't use your dishwasher? How is that a yeah, model? Well, we, look, it, it, we have over $2 billion that just passed in the California budget to add new energy sources, to add energy storage. That's the big issue with the solar and wind energy investments is we haven't added enough storage to the grid to make up for these unprecedented, that's the key here, unprecedented length and depth of the heat wave. Our system was not set up for it. Texas is having grid problems and their system is set up for it. So it, it's the example is we do have to make significant additional investments, which are coming from both the state and the federal government. I, for example, do drive an electric car um, and I'm well, aware well, that I should- No, no wonder you're stuck at home. Yeah. No wonder you're stuck, stuck at home. You can't, home. You can't charge it. No, no, you can only, it's only a recommended <laughs> not to charge from 4 to 9 p.m. I don't have to charge from 4 to 9 come p.m. On, I charge come on, overnight. Ethan. No, the, the problem, though, is, is that you talk to the American people about rationing over and over and over again. People start worrying that that's going to be the answer to everything. We're not in a, a place hmm. where we're talking about, hey, we're, we're going to go fix this problem. It's let's ration our way out of it. Look, that is a valid concern. I share it as, a, as an environmentalist myself. I, I get annoyed when I hear kind of the extreme environmentalists say that we have to conserve our way out of everything. Well, you know, that is going to take generations to get to that place where we can simply conserve our way out of it. But we're adding significant solar uh, we're adding significant geothermal. We have hydro, uh, new hydro projects that are actually yeah, but, but, coming online. Ethan, Ethan yeah. you, how yes. do how do environmentalists like yourself look at the re look at the rest of America and say, hey, as the Secretary of Energy said, hey, be like California when uh, you have to turn your thermostats up to seventy eight degrees. You can't use the dishwasher or charge your electric car. How is that appealing? Mm -hmm. 
it, it's not, and it wasn't to Texans either under Governor Greg Abbott's absolute failure to do anything about their grid. At least Governor Newsom is doing something. He has huge funds in the budget to address our grid. To Wait, but, but you, 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 you're going back to, to the, You're doing production. the same things though that got us here. It's hydroelectric. It's solar. Uh, it, there, it, there's not no, new no, permitting no, 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 for no, nuclear no. power plants. Yeah. I disagree with you, Liam. Really important in this, there's a huge incentive program that's been put in place. I'm actually about to participate in it myself to add energy storage at the residential level to offset the grid load from 4 to 9 p.m. That yeah, no, I, I, just go, I just go back, though, to, to yeah. po the politics of this. How is telling middle-class Americans who, as we just heard, are struggling with rising credit card debt, hey, the answer is move to, you know, everything's going to be great. Just pay for batteries for your house. That that just doesn't work. It, it, I, I agree. And there, so it's not you're going to be solely responsible. There's huge incentives to get this yeah. done. Okay. And they're doing it at both the grid level and the residential level. This is All not right. a long-term problem that we're facing. It, it only is if we weren't addressing it by <laughs> making these huge investments over the next couple of years. Well, uh, we'll, we'll see if we're talking next year about it. It's good to see you, my friend. Thank you. Thanks, Leland. All right. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.